In patients undergoing PCI for bifurcation lesions, a provisional stenting strategy is the first choice in most cases, particularly when the side branch stenosis is short. After stenting of the main branch, whether systematic side branch intervention has an added value is uncertain. In this multicenter randomized trial, 617 patients with a non left main bifurcation lesion involving a side branch of at least 2.25 mm received main branch stenting with a resolute onyx DES and systematic proximal optimization technique or POT. Then, patients were randomized to no further intervention or side branch intervention, including the POT side POT technique or final kissing balloon. The primary endpoint was periprocedural myocardial injury or infarction within 48 hours. In the intention to treat analysis, this outcome occurred in 4.1% of patients who had no further intervention and 5.7% of patients who had side branch intervention, meeting criteria for non-inferiority but not for superiority. No further intervention was associated with a shorter procedure, less radiation and a lower volume of contrast. Target lesion failure at one month did not differ between the two groups. The authors concluded that in patients with bifurcation lesion undergoing main branch stenting and POT, a strategy of no further intervention does not increase the risk of periprocedural myocardial injury or myocardial infarction.